So yeah, uh, a quite a, a busy start of the year, luckily. And uh, again, I'm making some sounds, uh, some gigs coming up. This is more like a vintagey, noir type type sound. Uh, luckily, as I said, January has been uh, quite busy, and uh, and the uh, uh, first half of February between gigs and teaching. And uh, I wanted to add to that uh, zip file of, of, of patches for the HX Stomp. Some work, some work for the some of the you know the Helix family, so to speak. And um, so uh, this is more like a noir, you know, like a Tarantino style vintage. I don't know, maybe fifties, fifties, sixties style. Um, you know, the, the kind of vibey sixties movies where you have that the old Fender and you know with a lot of reverb. Uh, which is off now. That's better. Uh, and uh, obviously, these is all to be added to that zip file. Uh, I'm not using anymore the, the community page on line six. A lot of quite a few people have mentioned that it doesn't work as it should anymore. Uh, also, as I said, I keep updating these sounds, so I want to have a bit more control on, over them. And and uh, I've moved them onto a zip file uh, that you can download if you go on uh, the description. And it will be a, a link on the pin comment as well. It's all free. Obviously, you can give a, a you know if you appreciate if you use these sounds, uh, just make a donation. It's quite simple. You can do that through my website. It's all linked um, when you will download the, the files. Uh, there are about twenty something patches for, for now. Uh, and again, this is again as I was saying, a, a noir type. Uh, think of like Lana Del Rey or um, like surf surf guitar or I don't know. That kind of that kind of those kind of sounds. Um, so there's a deluxe reverb is the amp, and I have a you know a six to six to three reverb. I still prefer the um, you know the the legacy one to that. The new one the new one has more features. You know you can control the drip and stuff like that. But I still like the the original one, the legacy one, better. Um, then there is a compressor to even things out. Gives a bit more chunk, so to speak. And up to tremolo. Let me actually bring things up so that these are the, the setting for the reverb. These are the setting for the compressor. And these are... Uh, this is a tremolo that is connected to the tap. So I can slow it down or make it faster. I like it to have a sync when I sync things to the tune that I'm playing. So if I'm playing, uh, you know, a, an arpeggio, you know, I like it to be to have some sort of rhythm, you know, that goes with that. Uh, I've added also a um, a vibe, you know, uh, a uni vibe. Same idea, because obviously this uh, wants to be a Leslie type sound. You can have it slow or fast. Um, and then there is a tape delay. Let's get that old school tape delay. And then I've been trying. I've been started. To, I started to experiment with um, preamps, and uh, this is from. I've been watching quite a few YouTube videos where people use preamps instead of overdrive pedals, and I find that some actually give more of an, a, a, a real feel of that amp that has been you know pushed. Because obviously you put in a, a preamp onto another preamp, basically, and this is the one for the you know the Tripman. Which I think is a bass man. So this is within the bass uh, amps and preamps. So it really fattens up the sound. Gives a nice bit of saturation. I think actually I just adjusted it and in the preset, this has a slight boost as well. Uh, I feel free to to tweak all of this all these sounds. Um, so in general, I think when you have these type of sounds, you can really can create like lines like 
Those kind of, you know, those kind of tunes. I don't have to play the whole tune. Um, and, um, yeah, so I wanted to share this, as I always do. So uh, I will update the zip file. And uh, with all the sounds, as I said, I'm, I'm learning more and more about this as Stump Excel, which I use quite a bit. A gigs is quite handy. I have a bigger pedal, pedal board made with pedals, which I do use when I use a tube amp, obviously. Uh, I find this quite handy when I you know, make patches for gigs where I just turn up and it's all, you know, uh, DI, so to speak, DI'd. Um, as much as, uh, obviously, you can get some great sounds, I find, I'm sorry to find the limit a little bit because, obviously, the, the better the sound, the more DSP you use and, uh, obviously, the stomp is only, as an, I understand, it's like a, a single chip rather than the two chips that are in the the full helix i don't know i will i will give you some thought uh, i started to i started to push the limits of what you can um if you can get with the dsp so to speak uh, because i would like to have everything in one patch when i do gigs i i hate going through patches but anyway um that's that i will as i said i will uh, continue to add i want to try and continue to add videos to my channel as always, subscribe, like, share. This is all stuff that really helps the channel. If you find that uh, there was any value, share all of this with uh, you know with friends and put it on forums, social media, and the usual stuff. And uh, um, I will keep adding videos, and I want to go back also to do more instructional stuff, which I haven't, I haven't had the time to do properly. But um, I have I have a couple of. Uh, quite a week's coming up so hopefully i will have the time to go back to that which i enjoy doing and i think that they're, they're, they're quite popular when i upload those type of videos excellent uh, take care bye bye